That was relaxing. Yeah, so right now I'm basically using relaxation type stuff to help me avoid becoming too tired and catching a cold because colds are evil and they stop you from breathing properly and breathing is very important. So in theory you can probably present prevent um, at least 95% of the sicknesses that you get and the other 5% you can probably cure um, especially considering how much information there is nowadays if one cure doesn't work you can try another um, of course it's tempting to just um, give up and live with problems but I think that if you have um, a, a close social group that encourages you to give up and then um, you should change your close social group you need um, encouragement everyone needs encouragement regardless of their circumstances regardless of their capabilities everyone needs encouragement if you can't get it from other people then I suppose you can stand in the mirror and give it to yourself and um, in general it seems that that's been a technique that men have used for a very long time mm. so I've never really tried it though I've read about it it seemed like a good idea but I can't think of a time when I spent more than when I spent any time really doing any sort of like um, self encouragement thing every day for even three days much less the 21 days that it is supposed to take for that information to sort of filter through to your subconscious mind I mean sure it could take less but um I think 21 days is like the maximum that it's going to take. I don't know how this relates to the story about um, Daniel praying for 21 days. Um, when he prayed three times a day for intervention before he got it. Um, maybe in a metaphorical sense they're referring to similar things. But I do know that that is in general the general um, claim that you should um, spend at least 21 days of constantly every day working at overcoming the habit that you want to overcome if you want to overcome it I used to say that you should spend at least 10 days trying to overcome a habit before you really make any decisions in terms of whether it's like permanent or not and I'm not saying that um, sickness is a habit but um, holy sickness is you know something physical uh, no, but what I am saying is that the body is generally designed to heal and a lot of things that we think are limits to the physical body are not really limits. You know, and if you want to accomplish anything mentally or financially or emotionally or socially, then there or ways to go about doing just about anything you want to do. There are even books. I mean, if you want to like become rich, and you look for a book on how to become rich, there are plenty of them. And I think, um, in my case for sure, I've never spent more than a few days, um, looking at how to do something. I've just read how to do it and got inspired, and then I got um busy. So in that case, I would say that I've been very shallow in my application of things. I've, um, I'm guilty of being a jack of all trades but a master of none. I said maybe the trade of staying alive because I am still alive and um, I'm going to take some credit for that because I know that that's one thing that I've consistently worked on every day. Um, not just survival but living in from a positive mental attitude. Um, I know that 
a lot of I haven't produced anything that's like spectacular but I do keep a positive mental attitude because I don't think life is only about creating excellent products for other people to consume especially um, if that consumption is not going to benefit me either directly or indirectly financially I'm pleasantly surprised that um, my previous YouTube videos have um, benefited socially. I didn't expect that, but that was, you know, a bonus. It wasn't, oh, it wasn't planned. Excuse me, it wasn't planned. I didn't think I'd meet anybody through YouTube or anything like that. I'm probably eventually going to um, create whole new YouTube channels and identities and businesses and so on. But um, I don't know when. And you asked why would I want to create a business related to YouTube? Simple, so I can monetize videos and try to play the um, popularity contest. But it's not only about monetizing videos. Um, YouTube could be a good way to promote yourself as an artist. And, um, yeah. Hmm. Mm.